welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Dawn and welcome. So in today's video, we're going to talk about something that is important to me and something that I told myself that, you know, whenever I did have kids, I would implement and that was instill my Indian culture in them. As you guys know, I'm Indian and I'm married to an African-American man and so our kids are Indians or black and Indians and it was important to me that they really knew or were in tune with both part of the cultures you know the African-American part as well as the Indian part and I and one of the ways that I wanted to instill that in them was to teach them a language Malayalam Malayalam is for those you guys you know for you guys who don't know Malayalam is the official language of Kerala the state that my parents are from you know when when I had my first daughter my uh, my husband, Monty, he kept telling me, he was like, Tan, make sure you talk to Han in Malayalam, make sure you talk to Han in Malayalam. And even though I really wanted her to know Malayalam, for whatever reason, I just didn't really speak to her in the in Malayalam. And I, I guess it was because I was not very really comfortable speaking it myself or because I was speaking more English than I was Malayalam and all that kind of stuff. And it just never naturally flowed, you know. I, I kept telling him, it, it doesn't naturally flow and make you know making up all these excuses for not speaking to her in Malayalam. Back in December we went to India and I realized that all all my cousins, my great grandparents, my grandparents, my uncles, my aunts, they all speak in Malayalam and you know it would be a shame if Ahana really couldn't understand what they were saying or couldn't communicate with them. And so that was one of the main reasons why I was like, you know, why it was why I was like, okay, no, Ahana really needs to learn Malayalam and I really have to start speaking to her on a consistent basis um, in Malayalam. So I started doing my research, you know, trying to figure out what is the most efficient and the best way to speak to Ahana and Amara in Malayalam. And I learned a few things along the way, which I want to pass on to you guys. I think it would be beneficial, especially if you guys are out there trying to, you know, really learn a language yourself or trying to teach your kids another language etc some of the things that i learned was pretty much how it was when i was growing up because i grew up in a home where we spoke malayalam at home we spoke english at home we spoke english in school and we learned hindi we learned how to read write and speak hindi as well as arabic so growing up among all these languages i realized like my brain really does have a year for learning different languages and I've, and that is one of the benefits of a bilingual kid or like a kid growing up in a bilingual home because they start having a year when they start hearing different languages they are like oh that sounds like this 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 or that like that sounds like so and so so they start picking up other languages really really quickly as well there are two ways i learned on how you can teach a child a second language and one of the ways that i learned was one parent one child sorry one parent one language method where i speak to my kid only in Malayalam and my husband let's say speaks to my kid only in English so that way my kid is or Ahan is exposed Ahan and Amara are exposed to Malayalam just by me so like they're exposed to it enough where they're comfortable you know hearing it and another way is to only speak Malayalam at home and to only speak English at school which is really not possible in our house because my husband doesn't speak Malayalam what we are trying to do is where I speak to Ahana in Malayalam Ahana Thank you, honey. Oh, thank you, baby girl. Pashu, parne? Parne? Pashu, pashu. Adandua babu. Idandua? Endua? Namaka Pratik and Deba Pratik, Adim Pratik and Adim Pratik and Am. Bible at Tundua. Bible at Tundua, Ba. And then you and Adwanda. Bible at Tundua. O Tumniche, Dikia, the Enneke, Volum Snee, Hitchu, Palichirum, Tava Snee, Hamadishayame, Enda Dishayame, Deva Tensee. Psalms 23. Come on. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. A couple of other things that I learned were this concept of code switching, where you guys who are bilingual, you guys know that, you know, when you speak, when you switch between languages, you might interchange words. Like, let's say I was speaking Malayalam, I might throw in a few English words in there while I'm speaking a sentence. Or if I was speaking English, I might actually throw in a few Malayalam words in there. It's not because I'm confused at what language I'm speaking. It's because like certain words come to me quicker in a certain language than it does in another language. And that would happen to your child when they're growing up. They call it code switching where, you know, let's say Ahan, Ahan at this point where I'm trying to teach you Malayalam, she might switch back and forth between English and Malayalam and that is completely normal and completely okay. Another thing that I learned was this concept called important language. For example, me growing up, when we were all young, me, my sister, my brother, we were all young. We were we used to only speak in Malayalam. And at some point, maybe when I was, I think, five or seven years old, my mom was like, no, Don, Doran, Dean, we need, I need you guys to learn English better. So I need you guys to start speaking English more at home. And to this day, we actually are more comfortable communicating to each other in English. Even though we all speak Malayalam pretty fluently. I mean, I probably speak Malayalam the most fluent. Um, we are... We are pretty comfortable talking to each other in English and that is what important language means which means that English became our important language and Malayalam became our less important language and that tends to happen in a bilingual home. Let's say for Ahana, I feel like even though I really try to teach her Malayalam, ultimately English will become her important language because that is how she will communicate with basically her dad, her older sister and everybody around and Malayalam would, will be what she uses to maybe communicate with me, communicate with my extended family. Along the way of the important language, there is this concept where they say that the arrival of a sibling upsets the balance of the important language, which basically means that since Amara is born, Ahana will be speaking to Amara right in her important language, which is basically English. And so Amara will actually learn less of Malayalam than Ahana, which is very true because I speak the most Malayalam. My sister speaks a little less Malayalam than me and my brother actually speaks the worst. And so his Malayalam is very not fluent. And so um, it is very interesting, the whole concept of the arrival of a sibling upsetting that natural balance of languages within a family. So in all my research, the only con that I found to a baby or a child learning multiple languages is their speech development. And this is also only in the early stages of life, I guess. And one of the things that I learned was that their speech development is slightly delayed where they actually start speaking a little later than someone, a child in a monolingual home. And that is also because in a, chi a child in a monolingual home, is only learning one language. So basically their brain is processing one language and they start speaking much sooner. Whereas Ahana, she she's learning multiple languages. So basically I speak to her in Malayalam, her dad and everybody else speaks to her in English and the nanny speaks to her in Spanish. So you know, she so her brain is really trying to just make sense out of all these languages that are that she's actually hearing. So she speaks, she says yaya, which I think is a version of agua for water, and then she says ba for come, which is basically come in my in Malayalam. And then she learns English. I mean, she speaks English and she understands English really, really well. So when Hannah wakes up in the morning, I wait for it to be 7:30 before I actually go pick her up from a crib, and I enter the room, and we have this little game going on where Hannah doesn't want to come out of a crib and. I, when I go pick her up and we finally play go back and forth and I finally win and I pick her up and I change a diaper but how I instill or how I start talking in Malayalam is I say good morning but I try to say everything else after that in Malayalam so that the first thing she hears and she really really remembers I guess is uh, Malayalam so I say in Malayalam, let's go change your diaper. Namukabu diaper change, yeah? Or Namukabu diaper mata, which means let's go change your diaper. 
and from there it just goes on throughout the day we go through breakfast and then we brush our teeth so after brushing a teeth brushing our teeth usually we go and have breakfast and most of the time it is actually toast with peanut butter that is probably one of the things she eats the most and she loves appam which is um, this round rice pancake, Malayla pancake. And she loves appam. She loves that appam. I have to figure out how to make it actually so that I can actually make it for her. So one of the ways I try to teach her Malayalam is by reading this Malayalam book that I bought for her or kind of just opening it up and kind of going through it with her, which has al it's Malayalam alphabets. And it looks like this. Narangi, orange. Orange, kande. Okay, orange. This is okay, Ellie. Oh, Ellie. Ah, I don't know. Passion up. 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 Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Bread up. Peanut butter and tea. Peanut butter and tea. Peanut butter and tea. And in general, throughout the day, whenever I'm asking her to do something or giving her instructions, I try to say it all in Malayalam. Sometimes English does come naturally to me, but a lot of the times I try to tell her, like, hey, Ahana, let's go take a shower. Or Ahana, go put your shoes back. I try to do all that stuff in Malayalam. Like, Ahana, let's go take a shower. Or Ahana, a shoe at the roomy kondai ete means go put that shoe in your room. And she kind of, most of the time knows what, she, what to do. We also go over the body parts together in Malayalam like this. Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Another thing that I do is switching on YouTube. She loves watching Moana, the song Moana on YouTube, but instead of that, I've been trying to have her watch Malayalam cartoons just so that she can get used to hearing Malayalam. And the more they hear it, the more they'll get used to the sight, the sounds of it. During bedtime, another thing that we do is pray and I say, let's pray in Malayalam and I sing this Malayalam Christian song. That I grew up singing with my parents and that the shame, you Malayalis know what I'm talking about. You Malayali Pentecostals actually know what I'm talking about. But it's called End of the Shame by David Nesneham, which basically translates to how great is God's love for us. And we, as soon as I start singing it, Ahana just knows to clap her hands like a true Pentecostal Malayali, which is great. And then also when I say Let which means let's pray, she automatically knows what I'm talking about and she brings the Bible or she starts clapping a hand or she puts her hand in a praying position thanks for watching a video i hope you guys enjoyed this video on ahana learning malayalam hopefully in a couple of months she will be at a better place where she's actually speaking it and we are able to show you that progress if any of your parents out there have any tips for me a mom on how to teach their babies another language please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe it will really help us out and we'll see you back here for our next one Mwah.